Hi guys, it's Edison. I got a large Japanese package in the mail. It's a mixture of older Japanese cards and promos, a mix of some English in there. But overall, it's like a very large and diverse package that I just want to unbox and show what I've been buying. So the very first thing that I want to show off is actually going to be English from this set. I did purchase it in Japan, but it was from a Japanese seller. It is going to be, uh, it was an English Shadowless Binder set. So it had a very, it had three shadowless hollow cards on it. The first ones are going to be the hollow cards, which is where's the Mewtwo shadowless hollow in pretty good condition. Honestly, uh, if you don't know, shadowless is just missing the shadow that becomes like the staple in all Pokemon cards after the set. And if we look at the back, it's pretty clean. I sleeved these up. They came, I'm a little disappointed with this seller. He listed it with pictures of the cards in the binder, but when he actually shipped it out, he threw all the cards into a team bag unsleeved. And I guess I should give a price as well. I paid around 340, I believe. That was like after conversion to Jap uh, from yen to USD. A shadowless Mewtwo, shadowless Zapdos. These hollow cards right here, I think if they grade decently, and they should. There's some edge wear, but it's pretty typical for these types of cards. I would say. The Mewtwo and Zapdos are close to like a PSA 8 condition. Maybe it was a PSA 7, but that's still, you know, the value of the binder in those three cards. And then the rest of it was, these are like the good ones that I think are worth grading. Electro, Dratini, Kadabra, Dugong. Then you obviously have to grade your Shadowless starter. So you have Squirtle. Well, actually, let me just jump ahead. Charmander, I think there was three, and then a Bulbasaur. And that wasn't it. The rest of the binder was like these cards like a first edition War Turtle that was kind of beat up, first edition Poliwhirl's beat. A lot of these I think are also in good enough condition to grade. And what I'll probably end up doing is I'll take all of these, I'll sleeve them up and throw them in a team bag. And every now and then, if I need to get cards together to do a submission to CGC or PSA, I'll figure out what cards of these that I do want to send in. Next up, I want to talk about a pretty boring thing. This is Illustrator Charizards. This isn't the first time that I've been buying, but I bought these from Japan and got them in. This is just 60 more that I've picked up over the past month of like mid-December until late December. So like three week period that I was buying more of these because the price got even cheaper in Japan. So, I mean, this is very straightforward, 60 versions. I got 20 or so in previously. I sent some off to grade at CGC and I sold the rest. And I don't know if I've showed this artwork on camera, but it's very, very nice. It's This was art done by a fan in an illustrator contest in Japan. So if my recommendation is if you have like money set aside, right now it's like $25, $30 on eBay. You really should pick this up. It's Japanese exclusive fan-made art. You can't really go wrong. In the same vein of cards that I'm trying to pick up bulk of, here we have the Kan Kanazawa Pokemon Center opening promo. It's Pikachu wearing this beautiful kimono with the Kanazawa Pokemon Center logo there. You can see Pikachu's riding the Milotic. There's another promo of the Milotic. I also have that, but it's not in this haul. But yeah, this one I only got 10 of, and the price of this card has gone up. I think it's like $30 now in English. Oh, well, on eBay, I should say. It's definitely worth it for the quality of the card you're getting. That artwork is just stunning. I personally prefer stamped Pokemon Card Center cards. Uh, there are some that aren't stamped like that, but this is just one of those unique artworks. Pikachu promos like this typically don't come over to English either. So I always say that if you look at any Pikachu promo from the past couple of years, they've gone up after release. So if you have an opportunity at the beginning, I would just buy them. Next up is a set that I'm personally a big fan of. This is the Japanese web series. I've shown a web dark Charizard in this channel before. I graded it that with CGC. This is 20, I think 26 or 28 cards from the set. It was just one lot from a seller on Yahoo Japan. I. If you don't know the web series, I should say it's a Japanese exclusive line. I think it launched 2001. It was in commemoration of some online like web program the Pokemon company was doing in Japan. And they did like reprints of art. It has the e-reader border, but you'll see what makes it unique is that it has the web logo in the bottom left hand corner. I'm just gonna go through these quick. I paid around $110 for 26 of these. Uh, and what they did too is as you can see, they reprinted the artworks from other sets. So this is the base set Charmeleon art. This War Turtle art comes from some other set. This is base set Voltorb. I'm just gonna go over some. And the main card that I wanted out of this was the Needle King web card. Let's see. 
I'm gonna pretty much just grade all of these. And this is like a similar thing with the shadowless lot that you saw, is I buy all of these at once, and then as I'm putting submissions together for grading, I'll just throw some of these cards in here. Next up is some more stuff that I bought for myself. Here we have some no rarity Japanese commons. I've mentioned this in the past that no rarity is considered like the first print run of Japanese base set. So Japanese base set came out in 96. So it's really the first print run of these Pokemon in the TCG format. So we have Poliwag and Poliwhirl. You can just tell it's no rarity because they're missing the rarity symbol in the bottom corner. These are pretty minty. I also have Poliwag coming in from a different store. So, you know, I have the, the Poliwhirl line at this point, the Poliwag line. So I'm very happy to get those and send them off to grading. And this is one that I've kind of just wanted for myself. It's from the same seller. I don't know how to get this open right now, uh, but it's just Nido King Shadowless. So you see it's missing the shadow symbol. I mean, the rarity symbol. But in my mind, this is like the real first edition of Nido King, the very first print of Nido King in a card. It's beat up, but this is a card that, you know, it wasn't printed that much in Japan. And just in terms of like the rarity of cards altogether, I can't imagine me getting it. This was a really small lot. You notice this is the Venusaur EX, this is the Blastoise EX, and this is the Charizard EX. These are three EX cards from the 2004 uh, half decks that they released of the three starters. These are all really beat up. You can just tell by the corners and the edges on this Charizard that they're gonna grade poorly. But they were like $20 for all three. This is a set that I would wanna keep and collect for myself. And I mentioned this in before on the channel is that I collect like, uh, I prefer to collect beat up cards. I'm very cheap. And if a card's like over a couple hundred dollars now in like a high grade, I see really no reason for me to have to shell that out. I prefer to just buy the cheap one and keep that. This is another small one. This is a Trico. This is uh, from the Pokemon Center Yokohama. It's a Pokemon Center opening card, similar to the Kanazawa Pikachu that I showed. This one instead is of Trico. And it's one of these cool arts that was done by Yukimori in the clay style. I believe this artwork is also Japanese exclusive to this Pokemon Center opening. And I have other ones that I've bought part purchased in the past, but they haven't beat up on like the edges and corners. So I'm looking to try to get a gradable copy that I can submit and hopefully get like a nine to 10 at CGC. But this might be it. It's just a really cool promotional card. Here's one of the purchases that I do regret making from this lot. I purchased around 50 Watsi hollows, uh, old back Japanese hollows. They were around $180 for all of them. The condition left a lot to be desired. Like these are the cards that I think are somewhat gradable. You know, Rocket's Hitman Chan, Espeon, Dark Gengar. I think that's Dark Crobat, yeah. Uh, Meganium from Neo, the right set card. Here's Slow King, Flareon, Jolteon, Lieutenant Surge's Electro Buzz, Rocket Scyther, Rocket Moltres. But even these cards that I set aside and sleeved for grading are pretty beat up. So I was hoping that there would be like some sleeper, like mint cards in this set that the seller just threw in the throw in, but they are pretty, this really is like a junk lot as they call them in Japan. It really isn't worth much more than I paid, but hopefully if I grade a couple cards, I can make some of that money back and hopefully turn a little bit. And the rest of these, if we just go through them are just your typical Watsi hollows, but they have scratches and they're bent and I don't know. I was really hoping, I was speculating on this Charizard, but I didn't know this because the seller didn't put a picture of it, that it has like this white stain on the back, which I think was a sticker that peeled off the back of the card. I do think these are good for like a binder set. So it's either I sell them as loose singles or I just make a binder set for myself. This is like the last main thing that I wanted to show for like this portion and then the rest of it's like this one giant lot that I purchased all together. These are six EX era decks. These cards all became part of like the EX Emerald set in English. So it's very cool to see them in the Japanese form because there is no Japanese set that these cards came in. EX Emerald just took them from these half decks or these decks, I guess. And yeah, I want to show these off on camera. This lot cost me 160 for all six, which seems like a lot to think about like these small theme decks, but for how hard EX is to find now in mint condition and how expensive those cards go for graded to find these decks still sealed is great I mean, they're, they're really small like, look at that it's smaller than the size of my hand this one has your right shoot ex on the front and you can tell that like age has not been kind to these there is like a bend on it so i'm not sure i kind of bought this oh sorry i bought this too full to either crack these open and grade them like for example this my is 
a very expensive card graded. If I can just tell by the condition of the, of the card in the case, I would maybe sell it. I might grade the Milotic and keep the rest of them sealed. Who knows? But these will make a really cool display piece regardless. And if I do grade them, you obviously will see those on the channel. And these two I knew were open from the seller. So I just wanted to show the cards off that you come with. So just this is how it looks like open. It really is simple. You just open it up like that and it's just the cards. You have the first edition stamp at the top. Some Japanese, the set symbol, uh, the energy symbol. Pull these out. Here we have the camera up EX. Yeah, this one's a little beat. There's like a lifting on the bottom corner. And I just wanted to see, oh, you get like a little rule book, which is typical. I guess he actually might have just pulled it up like this and kept it. I want to quickly show the cards, camera of EX. Then you just have the rest of these. These are just deck cards. There are some good arts in here. So I don't know, maybe I'll put the rest of these up as singles on my eBay, but it's a very small amount of cards. It actually is half a deck. So I guess it makes sense why they call it like half pre-constructed. But yeah, I'll probably just grade the open EXs and decide what I do with these at a later date. And this was the final, like, this was the bulk of what I purchased, was this giant collection that I saw on Yahoo Japan. All right, first off is this binder. This is, I think, from the movie. It's official Pokemon product, 2006. Dirty, kind of disgusting, honestly. I don't even think this is for cards. These are, like, really small. They might have been for, like, a sticker set. This is either getting thrown up or, like, put on my eBay for a couple dollars. I assume that the seller that I bought this from was just clearing out his collection. Uh, I went through like his feedback and he'd been selling lots previously, a bunch of lots. Okay, this is just the storage case with a bunch of energies in it. So nothing really fancy here. Here's my shoe box of cards. Uh, I saw this in the photo for the listing. This was just a mix, I think, of a bunch of Japanese old promo cards. You have like a bent up Latios McDonald's. This is a bent of 7-Eleven Pikachu. I think the legend card was a promo as well. These, I'm not honestly that angry to get these, uh, mostly because like I sell, I sell Japanese singles for a couple dollars a piece on eBay. So to get like a bunch of these at once is worth it. This is probably like a thousand plus cards in this binder as well, uh, in this box. It'll take me a long time to list everything, but if you can get a two, three dollars a card, you know, you pay 50 cents to ship it. I think I can make a decent amount back just from these garbage singles. And here's the last binder, I believe. Oh, actually, let me, sh actually, this is another one of the binders I came with. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to get this point out that I think this was like an old collector or player of the TCG. He was just selling everything that he had off. And here's the last thing. This was the binder that I kind of, this was like the main cards that I tried to get and purchase. This is the reason that I bought it was for these. So we have Crystal Lugia, oh sorry, two Crystal Lugias, a Crystal Charizard, the Mew from Delta Species, the Delta Species Charizard, Delta uh, Gold Star Celebi, Gold Star Alakazam. Here we have Gold Star Jolteon. Oh, this is how they open up. Pretty nice way. Here we have just a victory medal or trophy card. Then the rest of these are just a hundred something EX error cards. I think this is another reason why I bought it. I wanted to get all of these in and hopefully grade some copies. But this is like one of those lots that I think I'm really gonna have to work to make my money out of. I'm gonna have to grade absolutely all of these and, and try to see what I can get. I'm gonna start by grading the really mint versions and working my way down. But yeah, as we can see, it's just EX error cards. You have some of the promos. I forget what this, this is I think a Koro Koro promo. Some of these are non-hollow and hollow. And the condition definitely varies quite a bit. You know, this is, oh, this is a good page right here. Let me see if I can get in frame. Just a bunch of Rayquazas. These go for a decent amount and a good grade. And even as like a, a loose single, maybe like 20 bucks. And then we have some level X cards at the end. Oh, sorry. Some level X cards that are beat up. Some prime cards. Let me see. Well, this is a good one in the bottom. It's a Domino's prime, a uh, Slowking prime. Yeah, this is a, the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. And the very end, we just have some Delta species. So the crux of this set was pretty much this binder is what I paid a lot of money for. And then the loose singles that I'm gonna have to try to sell and get my money out of. Thanks for watching. This was, you know, a iffy video. 
I do think I'm still fine with what I bought and I'm happy to grade all of it and see what I get. So yeah, thanks for watching. I always appreciate the support. I have another video I'm working on that's gonna take me quite a bit of time, so I'll get back to you on that. Have a nice one, guys.